Governor Dennis Dugard took on tariffs today at the Governor's Agriculture Summit in Rapid City. It's a pressing issue as grain prices drop in the intensifying trade war between China and the U.S. Kelloland's Al Van Z was at the summit. Soybean prices are down more than 12 percent over the past month on the Chicago Board of Trade, and increasingly nervous soybean farmers are wondering whether they can survive any further price drops. Governor Dugard says he hopes the president is maneuvering for some larger end plan in his increasingly combative actions on trade and that farmers won't become a casualty of the trade war. If you look at the trade imbalances, you know, clearly the one bright spot is agriculture, and I'd hate to see that bright spot dimmed because of uh, negotiations that might benefit some manufacturing side of things, but uh, again, on the backs of American farmers. President Trump has suggested that the pressure might be taken off grain farmers with a program of subsidies or grain price supports. But Dugard rejects that idea. I would not, I would not support uh, price fixing of any kind. I think we have to let the economy do what it does. In spite of the fact that it's government action that's causing prices to drop, Dugard said further government action has to be avoided. If there are uh, artificial changes to prices because of government action, and to the extent that that government action creates inequity or imbalances, then that's, that's wrong. Dugard says if the president is not conducting trade policy with some longer-term benefit for American agriculture, he'd be very disappointed. In Rapid City, Al Van Zee, Kelloland News. Well, a month ago, the price of soybeans stood at more than $9.50 a bushel. Today, at the close on the Chicago Board of Trade, soybeans stood at $8.50 a bushel.